Hey, what's up? It's Dan Perry. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to repair a broken fence post. Like you see here, the fence is all wobbling like this. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it without having to actually replace the fence post itself and for about $10 in materials total. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on some ear protection and some eye protection. And I'll grab just a regular hammer and a uh, crowbar here and just start peeling away the boards that are near the post. And if we can, I'm going to try to avoid breaking any of these because I could just reuse them. Once you remove five or six boards, enough to give you room to work, remove the nails or the screws that are connecting the fence rails to the post. So basically what I'm going to use is one of these fence menders here, um, but I want to put it right here. So I need a little bit of extra room. So I'm just going to cut a little bit off. All right, so then what I'm going to do is go ahead and dig around the post just a little bit, um, just so I can expose, just to the point where I actually expose the concrete footing. So there's always a concrete footing down there and I just need to get to that. So I just dig with the back of my hammer and I, I'm already scraping on top of it right here, so that's good. So what happens is basically the post just rots right here. So it's only rotted for about a couple of inches right there. Um, up here, it's still perfectly good. The post is still perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with this post. Um, it's just rotted down below where it broke. Then I'll take something to kind of scrape in there. So I find the hole in the concrete where the post sits. So now you can see that. What we're gonna do, install this easy mender right there. We're basically gonna hammer it in. So the trick here is to get the easy mender wedged in between the concrete and the fence post. So you're gonna wanna make sure it's centered as it's going in. You know, you can tap it on the side if it's not centered perfectly. And then just go ahead and start pounding it in. It may take quite a few hits in order to get it all, to go all the way in, but eventually it will go down. Now, occasionally you'll find that the Easy Mender is about a quarter of an inch wider than the actual post and therefore the hole in the concrete. You might be wondering if it'll actually work. Um, nine out of ten times it still will work, although occasionally the Easy Mender will split the concrete. In that case, you'll have to go with another type of repair for the fence post. At a certain point, this starts to get hard to hit, starts to get beat up, and you're gonna wanna um, start hitting it from the top. However, if you just start banging on the top right here, it's gonna get all folded over. So what I like to do is put a piece of, uh, just put a couple of um, shims in there like that. Then I'll actually grab myself a full-size sledgehammer. And then use the larger sledgehammer to distribute the force across the entire top surface of the easy mender. Otherwise, the easy mender does get all folded over. And basically, you're just going to keep on hitting that sledgehammer until you reach the point where the, this little notch in the easy mender, the, top, the bottom of that notch reaches the top of the concrete. And that's how you know that your easy mender is all the way in there and your post is going to be nice and solid. So obviously, I've sped things up a little bit here just so you didn't have to watch me hammer this thing for 10 minutes straight. But again, it does take quite a few hits. Just stick with it. Um, definitely having this larger sledgehammer is definitely helpful. And again, this Easy Mender, these things are only like, these things are less than 10 bucks at the store. I can't remember the exact price, but they're pretty low price. So, you know, you're talking about only 10 bucks plus the price of a couple of screws and your fence post is going to be repaired. At this point, the hard work is over, and now you just need to secure the Easy Mender to the post with a few screws. I'm using two and a half inch exterior screws here to tighten it up against the post. All right, so we're basically going to pre-drill some holes into this, um, and then we'll let our we'll let our bit mark on that wood or mark on that piece of steel right there, and we'll do the same. Come in over from over here. So then you just take a bigger screw, uh, bigger drill bit. It doesn't matter, just bigger than 316, so it gives you some room. And you'll just drill where you made the mark. All 
that'll allow your your screws to actually penetrate through this the easy mender piece of steel then what you want to do is grab yourself either a at least a three inch long but ideally like a three and a half or a four inch screw uh, exterior of course so it doesn't rust and break on you and then just go right into those holes that you just pre-drilled usually you need about two screws per board now it's nice and solid so that's all set and then once we've done that just go into these side screws here tighten it down so basically you're just attaching the you're just attaching the easy mender to the post so it's nice and solid you'll do that on both sides so now the post is in there it's nice and solid um, and you want to make sure to install this um, this way you know perpendicular to the fence because that's going to be the most the strongest if you if you try to put the easy mender right here on this side uh, your fence is going to wobble quite a bit still so this is going to keep it real solid uh, then once you're done with that so you can just tie in these top pieces again just again use like a three inch screw at least ideally like a three and a half four inch screw you just come back in here and screw or nail these back on just fill in the rest nice solid fence again uh, took me about 25 30 minutes uh, to do that whole entire process so definitely an awesome way to repair a fence post. So I hope that was helpful for you and thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit DIYWithDan.com. And if you like home repairs and working with your hands and you'd like to learn how to turn those skills into a profitable business that allows you to escape your day job, then visit me at HandymanStartup.com. Thanks for watching, I'm Dan Perry.